Once you're into your account, you want to make sure you're in your profile section over here. This is where you load your profile picture. So if you want to change that picture, you just simply hit change. And I'm going to navigate by clicking upload. I'm going to navigate to where my picture is on my computer. So for me, I go to CJ. I'm going to go to headshots and I'll upload this headshot. And this is where you stretch to make sure that you're, you have exactly what you want appearing in the picture space and hit save. And now my picture is there and it's saved for whenever I want to turn my video off and just show my picture instead of a blank black screen. You can go in and set up any of your other settings in here. This is also where you would go in to change your password or anything else, but those are your controls over here. So let's take a look at our Zoom controls. Right down here in the lower left-hand corner, you're going to see a microphone. If there's a line through the microphone, that means you're muted. So when you mute your microphone and you start to talk, you're going to get a pop-up screen saying nobody can hear you because you're muted. So I'll unmute us. You've got a pop-up arrow here where you can go in and look at all of your audio controls. Because if something doesn't seem to be right, uh, people can't hear you. You might not be Bluetooth to AirPods that you're using or unbeknownst to you, a Bluetooth speaker. So there's your audio controls. You can get in and manage those from there. Next, let's take a look at our video camera. If there's a red line through your video camera, that means we can't see your video. That's why somebody's name will pop up or their picture, or in my case, I have my CJ moniker logo. And that's much nicer than just your name. So if you want your picture to be uh, visible there, then uh, we're going to set that up in your profile controls, and we'll be doing that live. Next, let's skip over here. I'm going to skip over security and come back to that. Manage participants. When that's clicked, all of your participants are showing up here over to the right, and it will list everybody on the call. Then we also have our chat button. When the chat is launched, people can have a conversation amongst themselves in my meetings. I turn off the private chat between people because I want transparency. I want to know what everybody's saying to each other. I want to make sure that nobody Zoom bombed my call and are saying things privately that they shouldn't be saying in my tech talks. So uh, that's your, your, chat, uh, your chat window. Next, we're going to come over here to share screen. And first on the pop-up arrow we've got over here, I can share, one participant can share at a time, which would be me, the host. If I want to team teach a Tech Talk Zoom call, I can choose multiple participants can share simultaneously. That way I can throw the meeting over to um, a co-host and they can share their screen and we can do a team teaching. So that's uh, part of your share screen. Let's also go down and hit the share screen button. Only I as the host in this meeting can do that and I have all my other screens open that, that I can pick to share with whoever is on my call. They can see whatever training I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be going to my Zoom uh, PowerPoint after we look at this recording. So if you're playing video like I am in mine, you want to make sure that you've got share computer sound on or your video is going to play and nobody's going to know what they're saying. Um, and I can also optimize screen sharing for a video clip. So I don't want to launch my screen share because I'm showing you how all these controls work right now. So that's the screen share option. Uh, the uh, reactions button over here is so that people can say thumbs up or give you a wave or a high five indicating what they think of your meeting and your meeting content. Right beside that we have record. When I choose the record button, I as the host, can, I'm the only one that can launch that record option. If you have the free version, you can record on your computer. If you have the paid version, you can record to the cloud. So I'll be recording to the cloud and I'll have a copy of this later that I'll be sending out to everybody uh, after this tech talk. So let's pop back over here to security. I believe Zoom instituted this button so that you have higher access to controls on the fly because many of these controls you can set up in your account settings prior to your meetings. But let's launch this button so you can see what's under here. 
uh, for security reasons, you can lock your meeting. Once you think you have everybody in that registered for your uh, Zoom meeting, you can lock the meeting and nobody else can get in. You can enable a waiting room, which I like to enable a waiting room if I know I've got a smaller group. If I have a group of 100 to 200 people, um, that could be a nightmare and it can be very difficult. So I can, if I have my enable waiting room check marked, and it's a nightmare letting everybody in because there are so many people coming in at once. I can take the check mark out and it will release everybody and they can come into the room without me letting them in one by one. I can share my screen or take that off. I can share the chat or take that off. And I can say, no, I don't want anybody to be able to rename themselves. So I've taken that check mark off. So that basically gives us our controls. And you, now you know where they are. And if you've got any questions, you can always refer back to this video because you're going to get an email of it. So that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the control session.